Yon, what's up mga kaibigan? Tayo ngayon nagbabalik ano, upang magbigay na naman ng panibagong kalaman sa ating mga uh, mabubuting mag-aaral. Ano? Gamit ang ating whiteboard marker, ang ating uh, whiteboard itself, at syempre yung ating eraser. Ano? So ayun, bago tayo magsimula, bago natin ilahad ang ating uh, lesson ngayong araw, ano? kung maaari lamang mga kaibigan, ano? kung maaari lamang, <laughs> Uh, mag-subscribe na kayo sa ating channel ano? at uh, ganun din naman uh, click nyo na yung ating notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga lessons na ating i-release sa mga susunod na araw ano? and also, syempre para masayang lahat comment, like, and share our videos para naman makatulong tayo sa iba alright, so yun, good luck guys Hi guys, so in today's lesson, we will solve a system of nonlinear equations by substitution. Okay, so we have two, uh, actually three different ways of uh, solving for the values of x and y in system of nonlinear equations. We have by substitution, by elimination, and by graphing. Ano? So today, we will just discuss uh, the first method which is by substitution. Right, so we will solve quadrat uh, no no not, not quadratic ano we we'll solve system of nonlinear equations using substitution method right so for number 1 bigyan na tayo ng example mga kaibigan the system of uh, equation is x minus y plus 2 equals 0 and then y minus 1 equals x squared right so if the first equation is a linear equation the second one is a quadratic equation. No? Then we are uh, required to solve for the value of x no? from uh, this example. Okay, so again, our method is by substitution. Ibig sabihin, kukuha tayo ng function either of the two equations and then isa substitute natin siya dun sa uh, pangalawang equation. Okay, so ang, ang, ang imamanipulate ko ay yung equation 1. So let's say this is equation 1. And equation 2, ano? So, mamanipulate ko yung equation 1, ano? In equation 1, kukuha ko ng function na in terms of y. Okay? So, y equals. Kukuha ko ng function na y equals. So, eh, depende sa inyo mga kaibigan no? kung ano yung gusto nyong uh, i-manipulate. Kung ano yung gusto nyong maging y equals ba or x equals. Walang problema doon kasi same lang naman yung magiging answer niya. Okay? So again, kuha ko ng y equals na. So x minus y plus 2 equals 0. Now to be able to have a function of y, uh, transpose ko yung y doon sa kabila. Right? So from negative, magiging positive siya. So may iwan yung x, tsaka yung plus 2. Equals, from negative y, magiging positive y. So we have now the equation of y. y equals x plus 2, mga kaibigan. Right? So we can label this as Equation number 3. Right? So, y equals x plus 2. Now, ito na yung substitution. Listen, look, and listen, and learn. <laughs> From equation 3, substitute natin siya sa equation 2. Okay? So, dito, in, uh, in equation 2 and equation 3. So, yun yung pagsasamayin natin. Okay? So, ito yung equation 1 natin. Y minus, uh, equation 2, sorry y minus 1 equals x squared. Alright? So, palitan natin yung y. Ano ipapalit natin doon? Ito, x plus 2. So, x plus 2 minus 1 equals x squared. Then, combine like terms lang, ano? So, this will be x plus 1 equals x squared. Right now, transpose ko itong x plus 1 doon sa kabila para, mag, para uh, magkaroon tayo ng... Uh, Quadratic equation. Alright, so by transposing, we have x squared. So from positive, magiging negative. From positive, magiging negative. Equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation now. And in quadratic equation, we have two values of x. Na. So, kayo nang uh, bahala na kung paano nyo ito sosol mga kaibigan. So again, we have a tutorial for uh, using factoring, completing the square, or by quadratic formula. 
So for me, um, gamit lang ako ng calc yun, para mabilis mga kaibigan. So dito ko ilalagay na, angat ko na siya dito. So rewrite ko lang, x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so gamitin ko na yung calc ko. Para mas ma mabilis tayo, no? So, kung kayo, kung hindi kayo pwedeng gumamit ng calc u, kailangan nyo siyang isolve manually. Okay? So, ang aking degree is 2. Coefficients ko 1, negative 1, and negative 1. So, here are the values of x, no? x sub 1 is 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And then, yung ating x sub 2 is minus naman. 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Ngayon mga kaibigan, pakita natin kung paano nakuha yung x, eh, x sub 1 x sub 2 using uh, a quadratic formula. No? Kasi yung iba, uh, siguro hindi ganito yung type ng calcul nila. O yan naman yung iba walang calcul. They need to solve the problem uh, manually. Okay, so gamit lang tayo ng quadratic formula and that is uh, negative b ano, plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay ba? substitute lang natin yung values ng a, b and c ano? on our quadratic equation a is 1 ano? coefficient ng x squared and then yung b natin is coefficient ng uh, x na which is negative 1 so this is negative multiplied by negative plus minus the square root of negative 1 squared Minus 4 multiplied by positive 1. Multiply by our c is negative 1. Ano? All over 2 multiply by positive 1. So, pagka yan ay sinimplify natin. Negative multiply by negative. That is positive. Plus minus. This is 1. Negative negative. Magiging plus. So, 4 lang ito. Ano? So, 1 plus 4. That is 5. Ah, ba all over 2. And then, ito din yung ating x values. Ano? Right? So, ito, gamit yung calculator. Ito naman, by using the quadratic formula. So, again, we have different ways on how we solve for the roots of quadratic equation. Either by factoring, by completing the square, and then ito nga, yung ginawa ko, by uh, uh, using the quadratic formula. Okay? So, Hindi pa ito yung ating uh, final answer, ano? Kasi kailangan pa natin yung value ng y. Right? So, meron na tayong value ng x. Kailangan na lang natin yung value ng y. So, saan natin makukuha ngayon yung value ng y? Alam na, delete, nabura natin yung... <laughs> Kasi, ito yung ating uh, x value, ah. Uh, sige, dito na lang. Hindi ko na ito buburahin. To solve for the value of y... Uh, gamitin natin yung equation 3 natin. Ano? ano ba yung equation 3 natin? That is y equals x plus 2. Okay? So, again, yun yung ating equation number 3. Ibig sabihin, ipapalit lang natin yung value ng x dito, itong dalawa na to, and then solve for y. So, y sub 1 now is, yung x sub 1 natin, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 plus 2. No? Now, if, if we add this one, y sub 1 is, so, 2 multiply by 2, magiging 4, ano? 4 plus 1, that is 5. So, 5 plus square root of 5, all over 2. So, that is our y sub 1. Now, next, yung ating y sub 2, ganun din, substitute mo yung x sub 2, 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 plus 2, na? Plus 2. Then, simplify lang, ano? So, again, ganun din yun. 5 din, magiging 5 minus square root of 5 over 2. Right? So, that's it, na? For the values of x and y, mga kaibigan. So, to write our final answer, na, mga kaibigan, kailangan lang natin isulat yan in ordered pairs. Okay? So... Our or, uh, first ordered pair is x sub 1, y sub 1, ano? So, 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. Then, yung pares niya is 5 plus square root of 5 all over 2. Then, yung pangalawang ordered pair natin 
is 1, sorry, 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2, and then 5 minus square root of 5 all over 2. And this is the final answer, mga kaibigan, okay? Kasi, uh, in a solving system of nonlinear equation, we are required to give the solution. Meaning, the ordered pair. Alright? So, that, uh, ganito tayo gumawa ng uh, final answer. Na, we are uh, writing it in uh, ordered pair. Na? So, uh, this is the first pair, and then the second pair. Okay? So, that's it ano, for today's lesson, mga kaibigan. We solve system of nonlinear equations by uh, substitution. Ano? Ayun, uh, kita-kita tayo sa susunod na lesson, mga kaibigan, and hopefully, ay uh, nakakatulong yung mga tutorials natin sa inyo. Alright, so ayun, God bless, mga kaibigan.